really blessed because she trusted me and she tells everything to me and then we like we start to pray for each other we started to uh, have that conversation we serve the Lord and give our very best our very very best to win a prize a prize that we are in Him for eternity panahon niya hanggang until sa panahon natin okay. kasi kailangan natin talaga yung wisdom mm. diba? yun um, kung so, paano natin uh, kung paano yung right decision ba okay. Solomon wants us to live worthy Solomon wants us not just Solomon God wants us to, work, uh, to live worthy and pleasing to His eyes My name is Pedro Bullianis. Do you know that you have a purpose? In this channel, we declare, I have a purpose. Thank you for all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. For those of you who haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be updated with our new videos. Daily dose of encouragement for today is so about new beginnings. So it was really an exciting week, guys. And from yesterday, we have um, serving Saturdays. And uh, I know it's sharing Saturdays. And uh, we have just heard a lot of stories guys this was really fun thank you guys and uh, we're still gonna do this that week the next week the next week and then we will we will be doing our best by by God's mercy that we will do this every week and you could really contribute guys by um, asking us what you want to uh, do we could also share your videos and so on and so forth and guys just to announce you today is about um, <laughs> serving Sunday so I will be the one who's telling you story or telling you um, the insight all about this our theme for today is God's beautiful life for us are you excited guys God has a beautiful life for you and then the question that we're gonna answer is how can God make all things beautiful how could God make all things beautiful? So Ecclesiastes 3, 11, as we all know, we have been reading from uh, uh, verse 1 to 11. We're just going to be focusing on 3, 11 right now. It says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. So we will be talking about um, Ecclesiastes right now. Just a little bit background that we had last Monday. This was written by Solomon. Solomon was what Solomon was the son of David and he was the third king of Israel his mom was Bathsheba the one who whom David committed adultery with but you know what the grace of God is forgiveness because they repented of their sin actually the first son of David died but Solomon was made alive and yeah Solomon is here now the third king of Israel he was also the person who what who um, rebuilt the temple uh, not really rebuilt who really built the temple because David said, I'm very sinful, I don't want to build it. So Solomon built it, and then here comes him writing the book of Ecclesiastes and his old age. So now we would also define beautiful. Beautiful is in, in the Hebrew, it says yape. It says fair, beautiful, and handsome. And the first mention of the word beautiful was in Genesis 29, 17. It says here, Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. So why was... Leah not called beautiful and Rachel was um, um, said it was beautiful because Leah means weary so what if you are very weary and if you are worrying always <laughs> you would not have cannot reflect the beauty that God has given you but Rachel name was um, like an O E W E E O. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's like a sheep so wow it's a sheep so it, it, it's, it's like uh, someone who is following and obeying his uh, creator but we're not gonna be going there but because we are gonna be answering the question how can God make all things beautiful number one and very clear to everyone because he's a creator God Wow he is a creator God he says he has made everything beautiful in its time so it, it's gonna say it's, if something or someone was made there will always be somebody whom who authored it or who made it you know so for every creation there is always a 
creator so if you would know okay here we go again so what what what's what's creator creator in the hebrew is bara it says to create or shape uh to to fashion and always with god as a subject wow every creator he says it has to be god as a subject of heaven and of earth of individual man of new conditions and circumstances of transformation guess what the only creator legit creator is god it is god so all the explanations about creators are god not a youtube content creator not any creator of a book no 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 because everything who creates is all goes back to the fact that god is the ultimate creator imagine that imagine that he makes all things beautiful because he's the author of everything he's the creator of everything in the beginning god imagine that in the beginning god so here solomon was always uh, was 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 <laughs> really um i'm sorry guys if i'm really talking fast because i really i'm really i'm excited to share this with you solomon in ecclesiastes 12 verse 1 says remember your creator in the days of your youth because the days of adversity come and the years approach of which you will say i will find no pleasure in them wow imagine that solomon was talking about no other creator but god so he understood this because why I, I i have i have seen it wow no wonder why solomon wants us to come back to the creator because the creator could only make things beautiful <laughs> nobody could make our life beautiful but the creator so pe- pe- for, for me personally before I was suffering with um, self um, low self-esteem and uh, sometimes I felt like oh no the Lord wouldn't use me the Lord could not just do anything for me but you know what no if you would have a relationship with this creator if you would have to know who this creator is if you would have to know what beautiful things God has destroyed for your life it's gonna change your mind it's gonna change the way you live it's gonna change the way you speak it's gonna change the way you look at things and that's my encouragement to you today that the same God who created Rachel is the same God who created you <laughs> who was Rachel the wife of Jacob you know Jacob was called Israel at the time God has a beautiful plan for your life and this creation for you is really to impact the world impact the people in the community impact the people wherein you are going with so how can God make all things beautiful for because he is a creator God all right that's the first thing the second thing is because he is a god of timing he is a god of timing what did the verse say again he has made everything beautiful in its time wow in its time i i've I've, I've searched in the bible and there's a lot of 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 things about time in the bible there's yome which is our natural 24 hour time zera seeding time or sowing time muade appointed time shini it's second second time it says there but uh, the time that was referred there is all about ith a y t h uh it's it's a, about um, an event a time a usual experience or uh, an everyday occurrence or everyday occasion so this was first mentioned in genesis 8 verse 11 it says and behold the dove returned to him in the evening with freshly plucked olive leaf in her break so no one knew that the waters had receded from the earth you know that noah had a, a flood and then he, he put out a bird and then the bird came in the evening it was the time that explained here that he has made every things beautiful in its time wow it's really connected though like it was beautiful at that time too i know what time because there was a flood for 40 days and it was the time that he was waiting if they would leave the ark or not so imagine that that was also the time that was explained here in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 so imagine that this was a time full of hope a time full of purpose a time full of like saying yes there has been a flood in your life 14 maybe 40 years or more than that or how many times but no no the bird is here and in the evening that came the time the time the time that God has put is the time they will say okay I will go out from here and I was sacrificing the Lord and you know what happened there was a rainbow there was a covenant there so also in this time of our life he will make things beautiful in our life because in that time in the God's perfect timing everything is always beautiful so this is simply this simply means that God has made everything beautiful in the time that he arranged it to this was the same time he used from verse 1 to 8 a time to be born a time to die a time to plant and to reap because we sometimes ought to be superficial about our walk but no 
in whatever situation we have, it is still beautiful if we understand and believe in God's timing. All right? So it's really about God's timing. <laughs> it's really God's timing. I really wanted to encourage everybody. I really want to share about the Word of God. But you know, it's really timing. Now we have a daily dose of encouragement. New beginnings. This is a new beginning for me. So yeah, again, how can God make all things beautiful? First was because He is the what? He is a creator. God second is He is the God of timing. And third is this, because He is God eternal. Wow! He is God eternal. Not only that He created all things, not only that He is the God of time, but He is God eternal. There's no beginning and no end. He's the infinite God. He has set eternity in our hearts. He said there in a, in a verse that we we have read in Ecclesiastes 11. We're going to go back to there. Um, he has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Wow. <laughs> the very great thing is, He set eternity within us, but we couldn't fathom Him. But we have a part of Him. <laughs> we have a part of Him. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of uh, the things that I wanted to share. So here, when you say about eternity, it's called Olam, Olam. Um, long duration, antiquity, futurity, forever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient, world, ancient, time, long time, it says here, always continuous existence, perpetual, everlasting, indefinite, or unending future and eternity. This was for men first mentioned in Genesis 3.22 that the Lord said, it says, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, and now lest he reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever so that was the context there living for ever wow imagine that god's plan for you is not just here on earth earth is just temporary but god's plan for you is eternal god's plan for you is that you and i would always spend time with him so what do I mean? God will make beautiful in its time. It's not just the time here on earth, but the important time is time with Him in eternity. He has created something great with us. The Bible says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust, uh, trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. I will, I'm going to, to, to go there and I prepare a place for you. Wow! Where there is joy and there is rejoicing. So here is it, guys. At the end of our daily dose of encouragement, I would like to really encourage you. God is really making things beautiful in your life. But first things first, you really have to accept Him in your life. So why don't you just pray this prayer with me of accepting Jesus in your life and start a life with Him or dedicating His life with Him. Because He's the God who created us. He is the God who's got perfect timing for us and He's God who has eternity in store for us. Let's pray this and say, Father God, Thank you for my life. Forgive me of all my sins. I confess that I am a sinner. Take away every sin in my life. Cover me with your precious blood, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and as my Savior. Come into my life and change me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, we would really like to hear from you on the comment section below. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, this really is really fun because um, um, we had this whole week and uh, there was a lot of challenges. I also want to shout out to my wife. She has very, very been, uh, been supporting with me and also my two YouTube content creator friends and all the family members. Thank you for your encouragement. And for those of you guys who just made the decision, I encourage you, get a Bible, get somebody who's going to pray for you. You could also contact us on our social media accounts on how we could help. Maybe you really need a Bible, you just don't know how to get it. We could uh, help you with that or you could really buy it on the, the in Christian bookstores and we could share with one another.
được đa từng hộp tiết đương nhiên là cường nó chờ xin đặt từng hộp tiết này Ngài kể nhóm chùa xong rồi Chúng ta sẽ có một số chất phát đảm thật thì đặc biệt Chúng ta sẽ có một số chất phát đảm thật 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 ไอ้เวลาแทนไปโชว์ดาวที่ดับพี่เฮ้ยไว้วางมองก็ชนะบนมัวแต่ก็ได้คำพอเลยไม่ต้องคำพอเลยไอ้เห็นมาเธอชน
Tirate ako pa rin yun sa naka, na, 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 nakaisip, naka-center pa rin yung mind mo okay. doon sa goal mo. Okay. Yun. Para mapunta, para ano, ang tawag dito, yung success is makuha mo. Wow. So there you have it guys. I think uh, JP is saying, telling us we have to have a goal, we have to focus, and we have to set our minds on the price. So there you have it guys. Thank you very much James and JP. Alright, so... Ayos guys, and see you again on our next daily dose of encouragement. God bless you guys. And that was it guys. This is uh, Serving Sundays. I really wanted to serve you with this word of God. He has made all things beautiful for you. Alright, so this has been our daily dose of encouragement, new beginnings. And guys, I will be reading your comments. Um, in our next episode so thank you very much and next week next week be excited um, it's already February and we're gonna be talking more a lot about love and um, if you want to share anything that you learned or anything that you wanted to um, say just put it on the comment section below and if you want to be part of our next week's um, uh, episode uh, please, uh, we are still uh, receiving things here that would contribute. And um, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. And this has been uh, their daily dose of encouragement, new beginnings. And join us as we declare, I have a purpose. God has a beautiful plan for your life and my life. God bless. One, uh, one to six that says at the time declares the Lord I will be the God of all the families of Israel he will be my people mm -hmm. this is what the Lord says the people who survived the sword found favor in the wilderness when Israel went to find rest I will build you up again and you will be rebuilt O virgin Israel the Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love.